Hi, I'm Peter Wade, I'm UK Sales Manager for Mega Limited, and today I'm here with Pass in one of their test bays to show you how to do a loop impedance test using the Mega MFTX1. So, what is a loop test? You have to do a loop test on a circuit to prove that the impedance of that circuit will actually have enough resistance in it to operate the protection device under a full condition. And how we do that is we put a fault onto the circuit that goes all the way back to the substation, back through the mains power supply, through the transformer, back to where you are, and back to the tester. Now the idea of if you've got an RCD in the board, you don't want to trip the RCD. So we use a non-trip circuit. And in this case on the X1, it's called RCD. That is our non-trip test circuit. If you're testing the board that hasn't got RCD protections, then you can use our no RCD protection, which is the high current test. And that test is usually done on the ZE test that we will do later. This is the ZS test, so we need the non-trip circuit on here. So as you can see, again, I've already turned on the unit to the um, loop setting between uh, live and earth, live and neutral, and neutral and earth. I'm going to do it all in one go and we'll get our perspective full currents as well. So we have the settings ready and as you can see there's no widget, uh, no voltage on the widgets because we haven't got the plug testing uh, to the socket yet. So we're putting our earth, our live and our neutral into the tester and we'll take the plug, put it into the socket. It's already switched on and now we've got voltages present so we can see that. Now all we need to do now is press the button. I've already selected LPE which is the test, we're only doing it across the live and, and the earth. Z, RCD and 3 wire which is a non-trip test. As you test this, it does a quick pre-test of the circuit to start with. The confidence meter at the top will collapse if it's a very good circuit and very stable circuit. If we have any noise on the circuit, that confidence meter will expand out um, to cover that noise and get you a test, so it might extend the length of time. But as you can see, I got a test there within about three or four seconds. So I've got all my values there. I can see the values set and that's, a, that's an earth loop impedance done for a ZS. This is a continuation of the ZE test that we're about to do in the X1. So we now we know this is the uh, consumer unit uh, where we need to be doing the ZE test. Um, we know it will be live in there. However, we've switched all the sockets off, all the few MCBs, the RCD is off, so no power is going onto the circuit. It will be live in there and we have to take precautions. We have to access it by taking the front panel off. And once we're taking the panel off, we then have to find the earth coming in from the mains. Okay? So here is the earth bar. One of them is coming in from the mains. We have our towels going into the RCD here. So that's one where we will be testing. We can leave that connected in. We don't need to do anything there. We need to find the earth. So looking from the system, tracing the wire through, we know that it is this wire here is the earth connection. So we remove it from the bar and therefore we don't have any parallel paths associated with the test that we do. So bring the wire out. So we now have isolated that the, this is the earth coming in with the main towels. We go to our X1, we turn it onto the loop setting. Um, and now we need to select no RCD, which is on there already, and we select two wire, not three wire. That is a high current test now. So now we need to connect our leads in. So the earth lead is connected into the unit, and we also connect in the live as well. Now I need to put the meter down while I do this test. Um, so we connect onto the earth with our cropped clip, ensuring that we have a good contact and it's away from the panel. And then we can take our probe on here. Now what I'll do here is I'll pre-test, pre-set this unit for auto test, which means that I've pressed the start button now, I get a flashing warning up. Now all I need to do is make the connection in onto the live incomer, like so, and the test will start. So I don't have to test any buttons. And there's my test, that's my ZE test done. I can put my meter down, disconnect my earth, and then reset the earth, put the power on, and then do my calculation for my with my ZS. 
and R1 and R2. Thank you for watching. Uh, we have a, some more videos that we're preparing uh, on continuity, installation and RCD. Uh, the link should be appearing on the screen now for those videos. If you have any questions or comments, please drop them into the box at the bottom and someone in the past team will be back to you. Thank you for your time.